What's up? It's your boy Jacob back at you with more Neverwinter, guys. Ah, and I'm being attacked already. How dare you? Get him, Rocky. Kill him. Sick him. Like I was saying, though, welcome back, everyone. And yeah, I've done a bunch of quests because I'm trying to gain access to the auction house and a bunch of other features in the game. But, you gotta complete five quest chains. And I looked all over YouTube. I must have looked at at least a minimal of a dozen different YouTubers who, you know, upload Neverwinter videos. And believe it or not, none of them know... They either don't know what a quest chain is, or they don't know, like, exactly which ones are quest chains, because they have that labeled in their, uh, videos, quest chains, and then you actually watch the video, like, start to finish. There's nothing about a quest chain in there, so... I thought I'd, uh, explain a little bit about what quest chains are. Okay? As soon as I... Get rid of this one item here. Now, quest chains are quests, okay? As you might have guessed. They're quests, but they're not the same as, um, like, a normal quest. Like, for example, when I go into journal, right? It says, assembling the future. That's a quest. See these, uh, this one right here, the Black Dagger Ruins. Any quest you do that are under this category, right? Like, cause these ones are Helm's Hold, Never Death Graveyard, Protector's Enclave, right? And then so on and so forth, you have, you know, all kinds of other ones. Black Dagger Ruins is one of those five quest chains minimal you need to complete to access some other features in the game that are very helpful in progressing. Um, and you know, it's easy to find out which ones are because this is the way I found out was I walked up to the auction house because I have show you guys a bunch of these things. I'm not in a guild or a stronghold, sorry, I meant to say. So I have a bunch of these I could sell for astral diamonds. And every time I try and go to the auction house and sell them, it says you must complete five quest chains. Now it's not like when you go in here, it says. Oh, this is a quest chain, right? It just says, you know, whatever, region, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't state that this is a quest chain. The only way you find out, like, literally what quest chains are is when you go and try and use one of those features in the game that is currently locked out because you never completed five quest chains. So I thought I'd just quickly mention that because there's even a YouTuber named Al's Random Kills and I've learned a lot from his videos, but he doesn't even mention that. And I thought that was like, you know, kind of shocking because it seems to be a very important thing. Like to use that, be able to use that auction house and all kinds of other stuff. You know what I mean? Like there's, it's really helpful to have access to that stuff. But if you can't figure it out right away and you're running around doing every other quest, right? Because what? There's no good information out there on what a quest chain actually is. So, yeah, we're gonna eventually make our way back to um, Protector's Enclave this episode. And I'm gonna show you, because I'm pretty sure I still haven't done five of them. I think I might have only done like one or two tops so far. Because it takes like a good number of quests before you actually complete a quest chain, unfortunately. And like, yeah. Get him, shopkeeper. <laughs> oh, that shopkeeper is awesome. I do apologize for any of the any background noise you guys might hear. So yeah, that's what a uh, a quest chain is. I thought I'd quickly talk about that. Just because it's like, like I said, there's no real. Uh, there's no real, like, definitive answer or information on that when you search YouTube. 
And I thought, like I said, I'd be one of the first of many, probably, that'll probably take the time to mention that stuff. I mean, like, you know, I, it's really helpful, you know, when a YouTuber's doing a game and they... Even if it's just if it's just a let's play, you know, like what I'm doing right here. It's still good to, you know, mention helpful little tips every now and then. That's all I can really say about that because that's why I like, you know, one of the reasons I like, you know, watching videos on YouTube by other people because you got all these other YouTubers that are have good helpful information and then, you know, you think they have all the information, right, because they're doing such a good job on everything else, and then simple little things they, le like, leave out or forget to mention. And, you know, I, I often tend to pick up on all these things. I really do. So, you know, like, I'm good like that. Like, for example, with my Minecraft videos, my tutorials, my Blaze, XP, Blaze Experience Grinder... It's basically, you know, it's it's awesome because I watched so many other videos. I learned from the comments, you know, people saying, well, you could have did this to improve it. You could have did that to improve it, right? And then, yeah, I learned from those people's suggestions instead of, you know, the actual YouTuber's channel they're commenting on and he's not learning from them. And, like, there's lots of people who have lots of good suggestions out there. You know, if you can't, uh, take the time to read your viewers' comments, what good of a you- what, like, any good of a YouTuber are you to anybody? And I'm not meaning that to be insult any other YouTuber out there. It's just from my own experience before I even started, you know, my own YouTube channel. I used to watch tons of YouTube videos, you know, and... There was lots of things people were, like, leaving out, and I, I wasn't very happy, you know, when i try something, and because of a lack of information, it wouldn't work. Alright, there we go. There's our little shopkeeper. So, like I said, with every game I do a video on, you know, I try to, you know, I really try to mention a lot of helpful things, tips or tricks... You know, anything that's really going to help you guys out in the long run. And yeah, I know I could be uh, identifying some of these things, but uh, I, there's lots of stuff to go through here. and I really don't feel like wasting that time. But yeah, this little uh, this artifact I picked is very helpful. You know, because I could just do stuff like this real quickly. Sell all the less rare stuff. Keep all the rarer stuff, you know, to go through after. You know, actually keep my scrolls of identify for those things that are more worth identifying. Things like this, you know, that's cool and all useful, but... Eh. I got... I could get a better enchantment, I'm pretty sure. A common flower is treasure. Who knew? Let's see, is that all the stuff in that one? Yeah, that's all the stuff in that one. That's not better. Well, apparently those are better. Huh. We'll see. We'll see about that. I'm looking for items that have regeneration on them. Because that would be very helpful to me. I honestly think so. But I haven't found really a lot of items or weapons or anything like that. That offer such things. Sadly. I wish I could find more items such as those, but... All in good time. All in good time. They recommend this, they recommend that refining stone. Lesser power armor kit. Oh yeah, I got that. I'm I'm saving that. I don't know for what, but I'm I'm saving that. 
All right, there we go. Hello, well good met, sir. Friend. Feel free to fight any pet. Excellent. We've managed to get a siege tower to the bridge. Lower the siege tower gate. Enter Black Dagger Keep. Okay. And slay Malice Black Dagger. Who are you? Oh, he's another shopkeeper. Magical supplies. Lesser mark of potency. Ooh. Yes. Buy them. I needed some of those. Uh, what the hell did I need those for again? I'm I'm pretty sure I needed them for something. Oh yeah, there's my little fa uh, teleporting spider named Phaser. <laughs> uh, Rocky. That's his uh, best looking outfit because that's what he started off with. Then he went to Rock Century. Then to the Rock Father. Then to the Rock Sentinel. He doesn't really get any bigger, but he's just beast. Because when he's this tough, he has this uh, ability. Stone Warden. Deal up to 50% more damage based on how much HP is missing. Every 10 seconds, heal for 8% of missing health. So he, he's like a little tank. He just keeps going and going. We got Blaze. Free grog for bounty hunter. But yeah, I got my first legendary um, companion. Um, just so everyone knows, to upgrade from epic quality to, to legendary, it's either 1 million Astro Diamonds or it's like 120 companion upgrade tokens, I believe. So yeah. That's just so everyone knows. Like, say, for example, Phaser here is a uh, rare quality, which is the blue color color coding. Um, if you go to upgrade quality, it says Phaser will be upgraded to epic quality, gain a 9% rating bonus, and have a max rank of 35. A companion's rank is a factor in its ratings, powers, runestone slots, item slots, and skins available. This action will cost 500,000 astral diamonds. Or 90 companion upgrade tokens. So yeah. But he's pretty cool. He's got an ability here. Uh, Planar Venom. I think I'm pronouncing that word right. All attacks inflict poison that tears the target's flesh from reality. That, it's pre that sounds pretty cool, you know. If you ask me. And I got a bunch of these uh, lesser bonding rune stones. I got stuff like this uh things like that it's an offense slot so only the offense will be applied I've seen some horrible things. you know so if i apply this i'll get the companion's gift and the other thing so yeah there's two of them which really give them a lot right and if i really want to go to distance i can give him extra critical strike Rings? Sure, give them more critical strike. And no waste. Hey, what's up, homie? What you doing? <laughs> yeah, guys, if you didn't notice, I'm sounding a little better from my illness. So let's take a quick look at some of those items. See, this is one week that's worth looking at, um, but it's not very good. What's this thing? Lifesteal defense plus 5 AC. I'm not too sure what AC is. My best guess it would be it would be armor count. If I had to, you know, guess. Honestly, that would be my best guess. Let's see, what's this? Lifesteal. No. No, I say. So what quest are we doing now, guys? We are going... But I don't, I don't know. I wanted to go to quests. So, like I said, I'm trying to do five quest chains. We need to do Grimstorm Keep. Enter Grimstorm Keep and kill Jareth Grim. Okay. The only good I can do that. 
I'll kill that guy. Where's he at? He won't stand a chance, man. Someone was trying to chase me. No, you can't chase me. No sorry, Bob. Uh, I choose right. I kinda, I don't think it really would have mattered, but I went the right way. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I'm starting to get over my my sinus congestion build up. It's terrible. I I don't. You know, wish that upon anybody. Like, you know, any illnesses like that. Just because, yeah, they're no fun to deal with. They make you feel like utter crap. And you're completely miserable, you know. Get them, Rocky. Destroy them. Man, I like the Scourge Warlock. It's pretty, it's pretty OP, I think. In my opinion. You know. And then we can summon a little shopkeeper throws a potion just like that <laughs> yeah he got him pretty good pretty good pretty good I want that I could sell that give me thank you so where's this fool at oh not even close to him probably I bet you ah I got another minion hey who's that Oh, that's Rocky. I get confused sometimes because he kind of blends in with everything and it's... Like, look at it. In the shadows there, you can barely see him. And then when he comes over into the light, you can actually see him. I like the Scourge Warlock, though. It's a pretty cool class because I think of the curse ability. Right now, I have my curse upgraded so that when I do apply the curse, like, do that... You see a huge chunk of damage is taken off. And also, any enemies I curse deal reduced damage to me. Or like, you know, other players or my companions. You know, whatever you, you want to call it. They just deal reduced damage. So that's also another very helpful thing to have. Let's see, what's up here? More baddies? Aha! You guys don't stand a chance. I'm not even sure where I'm going. I'm just killing enemies, checking stuff out, exploring, enjoying the game. While chatting to you guys. Oh, get him. Get him. More scrolls of identification. That'll be very helpful. And like, I've been... The, I have a item equipped to my Scourge Warlock that has regeneration. And because of my companion's uh, bonus stats and everything, too, they help give me stuff like that, right? All those good things. What's that? He's like... He's like hiding. I can't hit him. Okay. Whatever. Oh. Oh, they didn't stand much of a chance. Ooh, another one of those things. Yeah, that's another thing. I can't exchange Astral Diamonds for Zen either, and I need Zen to open. Oh, where are they? Where are those things? Those, those amazing things. Are they in here? Where'd they go? Where did they go? Yeah, these things. See, it says open, right? And then you need you can ex get uh, enchanted key. Apparently, I have enough for enchanted key. Purchase. 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 All right, let's open some of these guys. See, I'm trying to get. I'm, I'm really trying to open more of these just because of the cool stuff you could get from them for free But not only that you get these and I need these and I'll show you why in this episode You can get really unique companions for your Tarmaloon trade bars So let's open another one And see this is cool too. You get other things you can open up for other stuff 
Uh, you can get marks of power, of stability, of union, resonance stones, cubes of augmentation, demigorgon's girdle of might. Uh, uh, I don't even know how to say that. Bath. Uh, I don't even know. Infernal talisman. Like, that sounds all pretty cool. You can also get, like, uh, that. See, the stuff like this. Jungle cat mount pack. And that's where I got my uh, panther mount. But I want one of the rare, uh, epic rare ones there. Or even the legendary T-Rex. So, right, if we go here, we can open jungle cat mount. Open. And see, I just got some insignias that I can apply to mounts, which is still very helpful. Don't get me wrong. What else did we get here? Uh, we got some of those funny looking, um... Lost artifact. Yeah, that's what they are. So, greater resonance stone, cube of um, two cubes of... Two cube of augmentation, resonance stone. Open another. Greater mark of stability. Greater mark of union. So, you know, that's all good stuff. And then you get things like this, Wild Enchantment Pack. These are good too, because they give lots of refinement points. These are very good to get. They're a legendary item. They have, they're worth 250,000 refinement points. There's not much else to say. Uh, what else can we get out of here? Oh, we got another one. Nice. And so you can get good enchantments too that are at a high rank. I barely took any damage. Go, Rocky, go! You the man, Rocky. Kick ass. Look at Rocky, he's just sitting there tanking them all. And like his health doesn't even go down that much. That's amazing. Alright, I'm gonna help the little guy out now. Together, me and Rocky destroy everything. But yeah, I thought I'd, you know, quickly mention, like, why those are very good. Because of the... Oh, look, I got another one. And that's why I'm trying to complete these, um... Quest chains. So I can actually start, you know, trading currencies. So I can start trading my Astral Diamonds for Zen. And that way you don't actually have to spend any money on the game. Which is really good. A lot of people, you know, they don't want to spend money on a game to get cool things. They'd rather just, you know, have access to something in the game that allows them to, you know, get a hold of that item. So, you know, I thought I'd mention that in this episode, too, as a nice little helpful tip for everyone who is has been watching and also does play Neverwinter, too. So here we go, guys. We're going to Grimstone. Unable to form this action. What? Is it because these guys are attacking me? You know, I wouldn't doubt it. Get him, shopkeeper. Oh, there we go. Now we can go in. Alright, I'll see you guys once we're in here. Ah, oh, that didn't take very long to load, actually. You know, you can go over here, right, and do whatever but there's not really much point there's something I wanted to upgrade on somebody I think this was it I think this was one of the things I was trying to refine yeah upgrade And only consumed one. Nice. Uh, upgrade again. It consumed two that time. And then we need to give it more... More stuffs. I gained 7% of its... Of Rocky's ratings. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. That's pretty good. Uh, I got opals. Tell me I don't cut opals. 
Uh, let's put in five. <laughs> so like almost 50,000 over the requirement. Uh, let's see. And I got eight of those. And we could try upgrading it again. Come on, wish me luck, guys. Oh, what? What? No, you don't fail. You upgrade. Upgrade, son. Upgrade, boy. Oh, what? What? That's not cool, man. That's not cool. I could do it five more times. Bring it. Bring it. Come on. Try me. I'll take that 40% chance. Ha! <laughs> Alright, so... Let's... Fingers crossed. Will it work on this one? Yeah. Oh, what do I need now? I need another one. That's rank 7. That's that's mental. But now I get 8.5 of his ratings, which is pretty good. Pretty good. What does this take to refine? Oh. I have three. Here, three. What does this do? Okay. Yeah, I'll refine that. Upgrade. Come on. Upgrade. Ah. Son of a gun. Upgrade. Got one more shot. Fingers crossed. Oh, you. You suck. Alright, let's just go and kill this dude. And I want to go to Protector's Enclave and show you guys what I've been talking about for the last little bit now. What do you mean about a couple things, the trade bars, the companion I want to get, and I think it'll probably be my absolute favorite because it's just, it's just awesome. What's this? Hello? How's it going, fellas? Take that. Lots of people. Oh, he just died from the curse. He, he didn't even get a chance to really do anything to me. Yeah, that guy didn't... Ooh, what's this? Treasure. I called the treasure chest. Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Ah, look at that. I noticed something there. Yeah, professions. I want to quickly mention this. You have professions in the game, and I'm currently working on these two. Because if you remember, you guys see me do a little bit about that. Now, I noticed you need certain things from doing certain runs. Like, for example, craft iron blades and pine halves. Uh, mass iron blades and pine halves crafting. So, right, these things take some stuff, uh, you know, and so on and so forth. Like, I can do this, like, I can make a great sword plus one. But apparently it doesn't do me any damn good. Because I can't use it. <laughs> Let's see, uh, if I wanted to make other things, right, like great axe, blade, short sword, uh... I don't even know if I can make a Pact Blade, because that's the weapon the Scourge Warlock uses. But, you know, I can make all this random stuff. But, for the most part, I've been sending... Oh, it requires stuff. Oh, Tempting Pact Blade. I can actually make something here. So let, let's make that. That sounds cool. Oh, wait a second. Can I do two things? <gasps> I can do two tasks now. Before I couldn't do two tasks. God diggity damn. I can do two tasks. Let's make a great sword. I don't know. Better yet. Let's go apparently jewel crafting is a uh, easy thing apparently so yeah let's let's hire the polisher and then 
we'll see what they do. I don't know. That's all I can really say for that. Uh, yeah, take rewards. Choose task. Jewel crafting. Let's see. Gather an iron ore and simple pelts. Ooh, deep wilderness gathering. Six hours. Give her. Go. Do it. Well, I do what I'm supposed to be doing and not getting sidetracked. Don't tell me that door opens. Oh, hello, fellas. Get them, Rocky. Don't let them run. Black Dagger Insignia. Yeah, you get those insignias and you can wear them as a waist thing. I don't know if they're really worth it or not, but I have a many arrows insignia on that I thought was okay. You know, nothing spectacular, but it was okay. You know, there's so many ways to go. I don't, don't want to go back that way though. I want to progress forward. Oh, hello. I didn't even see them. Yeah, a little, little helpful tip about how the currency in this game works. You have bronze coins, you have silver coins, and you have gold coins, okay? Basically, it takes 100 bronze coins, like selling stuff, when you sell enough stuff and get 100 bronze coins, you will get one silver coin. When you sell enough stuff and eventually sell enough right to get a hundred silver coins, you will get one gold coin. And eventually, right, this this adds up, okay? Because when you look at this, it says gain money by defeating monsters, performing quests, and selling items. Use money to buy items. For most stores, there are 100 copper pieces in a silver piece. So it's not bronze, it's copper. I'm sorry, everybody. My apologies. So there are 100 copper pieces in a silver piece and 100 silver pieces in a gold piece. And the maximum you can have is 214,748 gold pieces, 36 silver pieces, and 47 copper. That's a lot. That is a lot. But, you know, I thought I'd quickly mention that because... That confused the hell out of me when I first started playing this game. It's like, what? Trying to, I was like, you know, I was like, why? How come I'm not, I don't have a lot of money because I'd reach a hundred copper pieces, right? And then it would change into a silver coin and I'd be like, okay. And then I thought I lost it. You know, being the fool that I am sometimes playing a new game. It's like, okay, what the hell happened? So, you know. I looked around and I found that little bit of information and I was like, oh, that's actually, that's really helpful. I'm um, probably, yeah, this is probably not even the way to go, it's just more enemies. More bad guys who think they can get me. Get them, get them, Rocky. Show them no mercy. And I'll take that souls. I love that ability. It like has an 800 foot effect range, which is just that's retarded. Like 800 feet all the way around me. That's a lot of people, like a lot of enemies I can hit at one time. I was gonna say, did that just close on me? Hey, there's all kinds of hidden stuff. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see you. What is this daughter's promise crap? What? Where did you guys come from? Ha, ah, shopkeeper. Get him, shopkeeper. Marion cow. Okay. See, I, if I wouldn't have used my shopkeeper just there. I could have just summoned him and bought a religion kit. Now I gotta wait like a couple hundred seconds. 
Yeah, there's mimics in this game. I kind of thought there would be, but I wasn't sure until I actually seen one and it started chasing me and trying to eat me. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Alright, let's go through here. How's everybody doing? See you guys. Oh, well, you're pretty tough. Get out of my way. I'm exploring stuff. Oh, look at them. Yeah, Rocky has a ranged attack and he has a melee attack. He's pretty good. Pretty useful. Any secret things around here? Oh, cutscene. Jareth Grimm. You're the person I've been looking for. You're wasting my time, fella. Did you just, uh, die already? Please thank you. Oh, you got a healer, eh? Well, I have- oh, I was gonna say I have a shopkeeper. What is that daughter's promise crap keeps doing? And see, I put my, uh, Warlock's curse on him, right? So basically, he deals less damage, and... He just got owned! Nice. Nice. More quests complete. Lots of goodies to sell. Any secrets? Any little secrets around here that I can discover? Gloves of mastery. I got a trophy. Grimstorm Keep. Lore. There's lore for you guys. About Jareth Grimm. So I'll, I'll pause it here and let you read that. Okay. Hopefully you got deposited and had time to read that. Uh, there's the last little bit of it. Uh, it says, Don't let me down, Traven Black Dagger. Ugh, sounds like a fierce foe. Yeah, I must be feeling better, guys. And, you know, I think what did the trick was Buckley's. Buckley's tastes nasty. It tastes terrible, but it works miracles for cough, cold, and flus. Ah, uh, lucky you, see, see, religion kit. I need a religion kit. See, I would like... 10? So I could be a very pious man. Alright. Gimme, give gimme give these goods. Thank you. See, the thing about this is, I really need a friend who plays Neverwinter. Because I want to know if they can access that uh, little shopkeeper when I summon him. I honestly don't know. I know I can, right? But can other people? Because if other people could, like, you know, that'd be pretty cool. I I'd have to say that'd be pretty awesome. Alright, so let's go back to... Protector's Enclave before the end of the episode, guys. Oh. But. Draw a quest path. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Meow. Meow. Look at the kitty cat. Jump, kitty, jump. Ow. No. You will not dismount me. I am. Ow. You dismounted me. You're an arse. Now you shall pay. Feel my wrath. That's right. That's right. Them, those guys got nothing on me. Yeah, I'll help you out. I just cursed that fool. No big deal. Nothing but a no thing but a chicken wang. Okay. Oh, look at that. Some more goodies. Portable altar. Oh, yeah. I should really, uh... I should really, uh, do that. 27 of these things. 
Invoke my god. And I get awesome cool stuff. And I get experience. And my companion gets experience. And yeah. Lots of goodies. Alright, so... Where are we going here? Let's see. That's more treasure. Let's. We're going down this way. Yeah, I'm not even too sure. Like, do I go with that? Let's just jump for it. Yeah, ambush style. And poor Rocky runs all the way. Around. Oh, I think he jumped off too. The crazy guy. Crazy little bugger. Enter the Kragmire Crypts. Three players. Why does it need three players? I I'll just go in there and destroy stuff all on my own. Catch me if you can. Yeah, there's this like event where you gotta catch spies. Yeah, I caught one. <laughs> but I don't bother with those events until I actually get a quest saying I should do them. Cause like, look at, look at this guy. He's like, catch me, catch me. Ah, you can't catch me. And I was like, oh, you son of a. See. And then you just do that. It's like pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Once again, I'm getting sidetracked. Where's my kitty cat? All right, kitty, let's go. Where are we going? Now we're going back to the protector's enclave, not running around lost, like everywhere. Quite literally. But yeah, those spies, you'll find them just popping up left, right, and center. That's why it says I'm rank 13. Yeah, see, there's another one. Another spy. Oh, I think we're finally getting near the gate. That actually takes you back to the map choice. All right, so the two things I wanted to show everybody in this episode, what I was talking about earlier, and the Protector's Enclave, and I'll talk about it while it's loading up. Um, there's a companion, like there's a whole bunch of companions, I should say, that you can get for the Tarmalunian trade bars. Tarman, I don't even know how, to, but the trade bars, okay? And then this whole lockout bullcrap about five quest chain like five quest chains needing to be done that's the other thing I want to show you and I'll show you guys that first okay and oh you can get that you can get that companion out of the those boxes you see me open earlier that's why I'm trying so difficult so much He's so cool it's a golden lion like how awesome is a gold nine? Like, that's amazing. It's amazing stuff. So, if we go this way, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to do this in the, the next episode. But you can come here and get a daily dungeon quest chest key. Okay. Once you get to a certain point in the quests. And basically, you come over to quest, go to queue. And then, yeah, like you can pick right here, right? So you can go dungeons, epic dungeons, skirmish, trials, player versus player, right? So these are, that's what the Kragmire Crypts is. And that's what I'll be doing in the next episode. But yeah, let me show you guys what I'm talking about by the lockout bullcrap. So if you come over here, right? This is the uh, auction place. So I can talk to this person, right? And if I go to my, con my consignments, that's the stuff you can auction off, right? So I choose item. And say, this is what I've been trying to get rid of. So I click on the four of them. And supposedly, I can get about 30,000 astral diamonds at the bio price. And I can get 26,000 minimal for a starting bid. But watch. 
I hit enter value, right? And then I go to post item. You cannot post auctions. Remove this restriction by completing five of the following quest chains. So if you guys want to take a second, you could go back and actually pause the video when that pops up and you can read what those quest chains are that those, like it's, you know, asking you for, asking of you for, a, you know, a requirement and able to use this auction house. And this is not the only thing, like I said, there's other things too that are basically are locked out. And one of them is to be able to exchange your Astro Diamonds and you get Astro Diamonds from completing those daily dungeons, okay? Like you can do more than one dungeon in a day. You can buy keys from this fellow, right? So, you know, like, uh, uh, let's see. Look, there's a good bit of information I'll tell you right there. Only el characters of level 19 or greater are eligible for a free daily dungeon chest key. Players can only have a single daily dungeon chest key at any given time. Players can have as many standard and epic dungeon chest keys as they wish to purchase. Right, and if you go to store, you can spend astral diamonds, you know. I haven't tried an epic dungeon yet, because I, I personally haven't... I don't even know what the level requirement is. Yeah, level 70. That's mental. Like even if you go to private, it's it's asking you to be level seventy. Uh. So right now, right, I'm I'm only able to do these ones that I have unlocked. So that's the one thing I wanted to talk about before, you know, I call it an episode, guys. Now I wanted to show you the other companion where you need the trade buyers for. I believe it's Rick's. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it says dungeons. You can earn 10,800 total rough astral diamonds per day from dungeons. And when you get rough astral diamonds, present day 2017, never winter, you know, they made it so that when you get rough astral diamonds, they pretty much get automatically converted to the astral diamonds. Um, skirmishes, you can earn mm, apparently from that too. Um, where is, so I guess it's not him. No, he's not the guy. He tells you about astral diamonds. Ah, uh, this guy. Trade buyer merchant. This is the fellow. So look at all the stuff this guy offers you. Start earning trade buyers today. Purchase enchanted keys to open any lockbox. So the lockboxes that you see me opening are the ones with the T-Rex on them there. You can get enchantments and rune stones. You can get consumables, right? Large fireworks. I, I, I don't even know, like... Let's see, Air Seeker's Wand. Uh, use. Increases the chance of receiving motes of air from heroic encounters and spinward rise to 100% for the next 30 minutes. I'm not exactly sure what that stuff does. Pack of large uh, explosions on use of fireworks. Sure, I'll, I'll get that because that sounds fun. These are pretty useful too. They're like a healing potion, but... They have so many uses before they're actually consumed. Now you can even get uh, special mounts, right? Like Whirlwind. What's Whirlwind? Preview. This is the mount, apparently. It's a Whirlwind, quite literally. How, like, that, that's pretty cool, you know? There's the Termosh, Termosh Lion. You know what I mean? The manticore. Oh, that thing's wild again. Look at his face. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, you can get all kinds of really... Um... The thing was fighting with itself. An owl bear. Oh, that's so cool. 
That's 2400. Holy cannoli. Hey, there's the griffin. Oh, there's an, a legitimate griffin. Holy crap. Sylvan stag. I've seen that thing. I want an owlbear. That thing's amazing. Apparatus of what? Hey, it's a little mechanized thingamajiggy bobber. Holy cannoli. Okay, 2400 I'm gonna have to eventually save up for. And you can get things like drakes, which is pretty cool, you know? But no, guys, the thing I want to get is out of companions, okay? There's so many cool things here. You can literally get the manticore as a companion and a mount. There's a bear cub. It's a little cute little bear cub. Look at him sitting on his butt. Then you got this thing, which is like a small phoenix, basically, if you ask me. A shadow demon, which I thought was pretty cool. And you could check out their stats so you could see what their active bonus is and how it's going to help your character. So this, uh, what is he, shadow demon, He his active bonus is a deflection does almost no damage and does 3,000 damage to the source of the, of the deflected attack once every 30 seconds. Less damage is returned if your level is less than 70. So, yeah, it kind of varies. Some things vary on level, right? But still, that's pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, you have other things, you know, like this person. On attack, you have a 3% chance to have lightning strike your target doing 20% weapon damage. That's, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty awesome ability to have. There's a rust monster. It doesn't even look like it's made of rust. You got uh, these little stones that hover around your character, as you can see here. But no, this is the one I'm saving up for, guys. The laughing skull. I, I just like this thing. It, it looks so cool. Its active bonus is uh, on start of combat, you get plus 170 recovery and plus 170 power for 25 seconds. It's actual powers. Burning insult. Sling an insult at target foe, taunting it for 5 seconds and generating threat. Which means when your com this companion generates threat, the enemies will more likely be aggroed to the companion instead of you. Expert defender. This companion is in a season adventure. While summoned, your companion's health, defense, and regeneration are increased by 10%. Their defense and attack abilities have increased to benefit their battle battle style. Then he has a flying bite, which is a melee attack. Fly forward and bite the target, dealing damage and generating extra threat. Master Defender Companion, which is just like a better version. It, uh, it stacks with this one, but it's pretty much the same thing, but better. And then you have Severe Burn. Targets of Burning Insult become visibly shaken by the harsh words lowering their damage dealt by 8% for 5 seconds. You know, it's just a cool looking, you know, a, a companion I thought. Like hell, you can get an iron golem. Like look at this beast. And he gives you 400 hit points for his active bonus and that only gets better, keep in mind, right? Like he's probably got some pretty um Dazing Fist smashes up to five targets with a blast from smashing his fist, dazing, and knocking back up to five targets as well as dealing damage. He's got Expert Defender as well. Fist Smash, melee attack. Master Defender uh, and grants 150 bonus lifesteal. So yeah, they got some pretty, pretty, and you can get the Phase Spider from here, which I have, but you can get them from a chest too. You might have seen this one running around. I understand why people pick this companion, you know, because of its active bonus. Increases your damage against targets with less than 50% hit points by plus 4%. Each additional active Archon increases this by 0.5%. That's pretty good too, you know, like you can't complain. Then you can get a goat. I don't know. It's not really the greatest thing to have. 
But you know what I mean, guys. I'm going for the Laughing Skull because it's only 800 and it's pretty cool. But you know, out of the mounts, I'm. Oh, I, I want the owl bear. Look at the owl bear. He's so cute. He's so cool. It's an owl bear. Hopefully, you guys. Bleh. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. It's been tons of fun. Hopefully, you learned something new about Neverwinter. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have an amazing day, everyone.